Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about Intel iGPU pass-through with GVT-D in this case. In one of my previous videos I talked about GVT-G and with that one you would be able to pass through a portion of your iGPU to the virtual machine while using the rest for your host. With GVT-D you are able to pass through an entire iGPU to your virtual machine. That also means that your host has to have its own dedicated GPU to display whatever is on the screen. To accomplish this, you would need a relatively modern Intel CPU with integrated graphics. So that would be something starting with the fifth generation and newer. You would also have to have uh, VT-D and VT-X turned on. Your monitor would be connected to your host machine and that one would have a dedicated GPU. And the uh, guest, we would use a looking glass or something similar to display its content. This might also work with laptops. Just remember that most laptops have their uh, displays connected to the iGPU. And once that one is bound to VFIO-PCI, the host loses the ability to use it. So you would probably need a second monitor connected to your laptop to a port that's connected directly to the dedicated GPU on your laptop. So it's something to consider, but it might work. And then you would use Looking Glass to display the contents of the guest on the secondary monitor connected to the host GPU. So to get started, let's make sure that we actually do have an Intel iGPU enabled on our system. So LSPCI-K and right here. So there is our iGPU. Make sure it's enabled because on many motherboards when the dedicated GPU is working, the iGPU is disabled and it won't even show up. So in my case, I'm using an MSI motherboard and in BIOS, I have to enable iGPU multi-monitor. So that basically keeps the iGPU on when the, G the, the dedicated GPU is plugged in. Different motherboards might deal with it differently, but just make sure it's your iGPU is there. Because if it's not, it obviously won't work. So to get started, I'll be demonstrating this on Manjaro Linux, but this should work with Ubuntu, Manjaro, and Pop! OS. So, first step would be to make sure that our operating system is up to date. On Manjaro, sudo pacman-syu. On Ubuntu, apt upgrade, same on uh, Pop! OS. Okay, and now let's reboot. So next step would be downloading GVTD helper and I'll leave the link in the video description. Let's go here, click on code, download zip and let's save it. We'll extract it and we'll run it. So change directory and then chmod plus x and then we'll run it as a super user. So that's all that's really necessary for uh, Manjaro. We will edit make in it cpio.conf and uh, you can edit it manually for Ubuntu and Pop! OS. You won't have that option because you don't have to in that case. So we'll just click no because this is what we want it to look like. It will also edit our grub. And uh, again, if you want to edit it manually, you can click Y, but this is what I want it to look like. So just hit no and continue. Next, it will install some packages and will uh, regenerate initRAMFS and grub. And after that, we'll reboot and the uh, iGPU should be bound to VFIO-PCI. Okay, so now we'll reboot. 
Okay, so let's open the terminal and let's run lspci-k. And right here is our iGPU, same as originally, but this time it's bound to vfio-pci. Okay, so now let's open Virtual Machine Manager. Before we do that, let's click on Preferences and enable XML editing, because we'll later need it. And let's create a virtual machine. So I downloaded an ISO from Microsoft's website. It's under Downloads. Forward, yes. Uh, I'm using a, this is a 10 core processor, so let's give it, let's give the virtual machine six cores. It doesn't matter. You decide what you want to do. And 16 gigs of RAM. 40 gigabyte disk would be enough for this demonstration. But again, you see what you want to do, and then we'll need to customize it. So yes, uh, we'll need to use uh, UEFI. Uh, pick the one that doesn't have secure boot. Uh, if uh, you do need to disable secure boot, you press F2 while the virtual machine is booting to get into its BIOS and do it that way. Next, we'll add our GPU. We'll add it right now. So right here, it's just labeled Intel Corporation. But the 0200 or 020, that's the one. And we'll be using Spice for now, just to get the display going. Later we'll download uh, Looking Glass and we'll get that working. But for now, this is it. So begin installation. We won't really need USB or any of that because Looking Glass Let's us share mouse and keyboard. Okay, that took a while. Okay, so now we'll shut this one down. And before I forget, we'll go to edit, connection details, virtual networks, and auto start on boot. So, because otherwise it will start complaining about the network being off uh, when you start the virtual machine or when you try to start the virtual machine. So, next step would be downloading and installing Looking Glass. So, let's open the browser. And I will leave it in the video description. Okay, so I'll download uh, the Looking Glass helper. And I'll go fast through this because uh, there is a guide for looking glass I have. So if you want to follow it, I'll, there is a link. So there's this, we'll need to download looking glass, the B2 version. Can extract it, extract looking glass. Copy Looking Glass to Looking Glass Helper. Uh, make Looking Glass Helper executable. Chmod plus X, LG.sh, and we run it as a super user. So once that's completed, we should have a Looking Glass executable that we can run. Next, we'll uh, go back. To looking glass and we'll click on the quick start guide right here so we'll have to give uh, copy this to our virtual machine this basically gives it access or uh, creates the device that uh, has access to the shared memory so it can share the frame buffer between the host and the guest we'll go back here click on this the eye icon and XML, and as we enabled XML editing earlier, we should be able to just add this. And we'll basically add it at the very end. Okay, and we should be able to apply it. That should be it for now. Uh, let's start our virtual machine again.
will download the Windows Looking Glass host. So same B2 and the green icon. We'll also need the commit hash because that's the password to open the folder. Okay, and we need one more thing. So let's go right here and to quick start guide. Installing the ishmem driver. So let's click on the link and let's download the driver, the latest one. So let's extract this and we'll put it on the desktop. The password. Okay. And here is our driver. We'll extract that too. And that's basically the driver for the device we just added to XML for the shared memory device. So we'll extract that. Device manager, system devices, and PCI standard RAM controller. Update driver, browse, and I think we put it in uh, uh, downloads and Windows 10 and AMD 64. That's for everybody. Pretty much okay. Install, make sure you don't have secure boot enabled. If you do, even though these drivers might, might actually be signed, you might have to disable secure boot for these drivers to actually work. If you need to do that while the virtual machine is booting, keep hitting F2 on the keyboard connected to it. So next step, let's install Looking Glass. Okay, so that's done. Let's shut this down. Okay, so next step, we'll uh, open up Virtual Machine Manager and we'll go to Video Queue Excel and type in none. Let's start a virtual machine. And let's start Looking Glass. Now we moved it to the home folder right there. So we should just be able to run Looking Glass. So there'll be no video here in this window. Everything will be outputted to Looking Glass because we changed the QXL to none. Enter. And looking glass starts and it takes a while for it to actually start, especially when the machine is booting. Okay. What we might want to do is uh, run it in full screen. We close it. Dash F. And it runs at 1080 and well, you can increase it to 1080 or whatever, and you do not have to have a dummy plug plugged in. Scroll lock to kind of make the mouse behave better. So that's it, that's what you need to get GVT-D working. Use the looking glass guide for more detailed instruction on how to set up a looking glass. It definitely performs better than GVT-G because we are passing through an entire iGPU to the virtual machine and that gives it a relatively decent performance. So hopefully you found this helpful and informative. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.